movie clubs, man. More movie clubs. Felt the wrath of movie pass, man. I mean, they out here. There's only one that's surviving that's actually worth your money. So keep that in mind. We talking about AMC Stubbs. If you're down with AMC Stubbs right now, you are living lovely. I think it's like 20, 29 bucks or something like that. Even if it was, it's like 30 bucks at the most. 30 bucks, you get three movies per week. Doesn't matter what format you're looking at, you know, 2D, 3D, whatever. And I mean, yo, that's that's what's really good. And you get three movies a week. So for a movie goer like me, that's fire. That's like if you want to take a whole weekend and just go to a movie, you are in there. And that's totally worth it. I could rock with that. And I am very interested in rocking with that. Unfortunately, there are really no AMC movie theaters in this area. So the only one that's left is the one down in Greenberg. And I think they're talking about closing that one. Which sucks, basically. We need a movie club. We need a Regal movie theater. Um, a Regal club. That's what we need. We need a Regal club up in here. Because all we have in this area are regal theaters. It's facts. Regal theaters rule over here. Now, AMC theaters are here too, but you got Palisades Mall. And if you stay in Upper Westchester, it's not a good look. You got to travel. You got to travel to see that, that cinematic goodness. You know? So, basically, you're out here stuck. Let me tell you the debacle that was movie pass and Cinemia who had her on lock for a little bit and I was actually preaching and advocating for Cinemia for a while because I was rocking with them for at least I want to say six, five or six months and I got it in with the movies yo I saw mad movies under the Cinemia subscription um, so basically what had happened was I was down with Movie Pass for a minute. Now Movie Pass, they were holding it down and I saw a lot of movies in them too. So basically with Movie Pass, it was $14.99 for the month and you got to see one movie a day as long as it was 2D for free. Alright? with that so I was in there now if you're an avid movie goer like there's people who's gonna take full advantage of that people like myself who's gonna go <laughs> damn near every day to see a movie okay they weren't counting on the fact that there's a lot of us out there that do that so that being the case for the people who would go and see a movie every day at like four, average 14 bucks a movie they were losing money and for the people who go like maybe once or twice they were getting money so they were they they were depending on basically the um the subscriptions that they, the new subscription that they were getting in order to make their money okay basically that's how that works so you know brother mike like me was enjoying it uh i think i saw black panther four times on them and I got the full essence of Wakanda I got the full essence you know what I'm saying it, it was it was all day all day it was <laughs> Black Panther Wakanda forever up in this piece then they came out with the rule because they um, reserved the right to change the rules at any time so the next thing you know it was oh, okay well you can only see one movie one time you can't see it over so see that one movie and now when you go back and try to click on it to buy a ticket it won't allow you to do that so i was like all right you limited me to one movie one time okay fine that's cool at least i got to see the movie for free then they got shady and started surcharging you for like premium movies so like 
if a hot movie was coming out, say the new Superman or something like that, that was getting ready to drop this weekend. That Friday, Saturday, and Sunday would be a surcharge on the movie. So it'd have a lightning bolt next to it. And when you went to pick it, it'd be like, okay, you can see this movie, but you're gonna have to pay an extra dollar fifty in order to go see it. I'm like, word, we doing this now? Alright, so it's still a dollar fifty you know what? I'm still paying $14.99 and then for the hot movies, I gotta pay a dollar fifty to get in. Eh. All right, I'll take that. And it all depends on how many movies that I go to see, um, which will determine how much more over 14 bucks that I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay. All right, so long story short, they just kept nickel and diamond and doing these weird things. So at first it was all surcharges. Then after that, they were just like, okay, these hot movies are too popular. We're gonna black out the times that you can see these movies. So, you may not be able to get to see it at a prime time. You may only get to see it at f uh, 4 uh, 4.30 p.m., maybe 6.30 p.m. But the 7, 9, 10, and 11 o'clock showings where you usually would go, those would be blacked out. You wouldn't even be able to pick that on the app. So, I'm like, damn, now they're controlling when I can go see the movie. Then for the blacked out ones, there was only a limited amount of picks so if you waited too long during the day to pick it in the app and say okay i'm gonna go see this movie everybody would have bought their ticket and if all the tickets for that day were used up when you go to pick the movie it would say this movie's not available so yeah now i'm paying 14 bucks a month and can't see the movie when i want to see it Yo, it got to the point where they were picking the movie. So then the last straw for me was, I don't know, it was one a crazy movie came out. And it wasn't that it was just that popular of a movie. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like major, major popular. But it was a good watch. You know, I can't even remember the name of the movie. But all I know is... I for five days I tried to pick this movie and the movie was not available. Like for that theater, there'd only be like maybe three movies that you could pick choose from, and the movie's whack. I'm like seriously, come on, bro. Okay, so you're gonna allow me to choose the movie today, but I get to choose I don't know, I don't know, something crazy that you did not. I was you did not want to go see that movie. So I was like, you know what, that, that's it. I can't take it anymore. There's gotta be something else out there. I'm too far away to use AMC Stubbs. So there's gotta be another alternative. Well, enter the other third party um, movie movie club, which was Cinemia. Now Cinemia was holding it down. Cinemia ended up cashing in on all the disgruntled patrons for movie pass that was just like no I'm abandoned ship I'm out and they had an influx of at least a million subscribers and I was one of them I was one of them so I jump in there jump on the cinema bandwagon now they had a couple things going on with them and I'm like okay I just still I ended up going along with it because I still wanted to see if it was gonna work out. So basically, it was 29 bucks for the for the month, okay? And you get to see any 2D movie, one per day, no restrictions, no surcharges, no peak hours, no blackouts. So I was like, I right, sounds too good to be true. But I'm gonna go for it. So I had a couple things that I had to do. So when you signed up for that, first thing they made you do is pay another. You had to pay another like 20 well, or 19.99 just to have your account activated so that you could use it immediately. 
So I was like, okay, this is all right. So now I got to pay double the fee in order to have it activated. Then it was one of these things where they would send you a um, online version of a credit card that you would put in at Fandango and stuff like that. But now with Fandango, you know you got to pay the convenience fee in order to order your tickets online. So in order to avoid the convenience fees, you had to order the Cinemia credit card that they would send you. Now they're gonna send you the credit card, you order that, but they wanted an extra $10.99 for that to have your card processed in the whole night. So to even get started using this app, a movie service, I had to pay close to 70 something dollars, 75 dollars. So I was like, okay, already it sounds fishy out the gate. However, if it works the way they say it's supposed to work, I'll take that. So I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll go for it. I went for it. Turns out that everything was legit. At that point in time, everything was legit. So next thing you know, I'm doing my thing. I'm going out. I'm seeing mad movies. I'm seeing stuff that normally I wouldn't even want to see. I saw some stuff that was like, oh, wow, that movie was actually pretty good. That normally I'm not paying 14 bucks to go see it. Um, uh -oh, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Um, so what ends up happening is we... We riding the cinema wave, bro. Now, for some people, some people had the choice because I was going month to month. I, you know, I had learned my lesson quickly with these movie clubs. If you're gonna do a movie club subscription, never pay for the year in advance. Because if something goes wrong, bro, you are out of mega money, and it's gonna take mad work to get that money back through your credit card and all that stuff so basically i learned my lesson early with that because i heard some horror stories so basically what i did was i said i'm gonna do the monthly 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 by monthly thing and we'll see where that goes for for months i was rolling i was rolling i was seeing everything out there no problem and it was all good and then it began. They started with the BS. Now, they had these things where it was violations because, first of all, people brought it on themselves. People would say, all right, I'm gonna be going to such and such a movie. They would have the credit card, right? And then they said, I'm going to the movie at a certain time. Cinemia would end up loading the card for like 14 or 15 dollars or whatever the movie costs and then after that <laughs> kids are out here <laughs> and then after they loaded it people would use the credit card and buy like groceries or whatever that they wanted to buy and never go to the movies so okay so Sonomia got hip to that and granted yeah so now they made you check in so you had to check in. You picked your movie. Cinemia would load your card. But you had to check in at the movie theater for the movie that you wanted to see. And they gave you a two-hour time frame. So two hours before the movie or two hours after the movie. And I was like, all right, I'm with that. That's cool. That's cool. I get it. You know, they're trying to avoid the shadiness. So I rolled with that. Um, and that was working out pretty well, too. But then the app started at wigging out and failing. You would go to you would go to check in at the movie theater through the app because you got to do it through the app. And all of a sudden, you get this error that would pop up on the screen, and you're trying to do it throughout the whole movie. You're trying to check in, check in, check in, check in. It wouldn't do it. So then, after the movie was over, you miss your check in time, and then Cinemia would penalize you by charging your credit card for the movie so you get hit for $13.95 so I was like yo I got hit one time I did forget to check in that was my bad and then I tried to check in afterwards and I was a little bit too, too late I missed it 
So I bit that one. I paid the thirteen ninety five. But the other three times after that, the app failed, and I wasn't able to check in. Yo, you want to talk about a brother was tight? Okay, I was tight. So I was like, yo, I did. I, I got in touch with the customer service. I was like, bro, I'm not paying for. A, a violation that I didn't commit You know I stayed pounding the check in button on my app Basically throughout the entire movie Missed parts of the movie Because I'm trying to check in I shouldn't have to do that What y'all gonna do So it was like Oh don't worry about it Mr. Foley We got you We're gonna credit it back To your account Don't worry about it It won't call um, And we'll give you an extra movie for the month So they, they were doing their thing To try to compensate Compensate a brother And I was feeling that Um and then all of a sudden the app just started failing like period and it was getting national attention it was popping up on google you put cinema in and mad complaints start falling in falling in like from the first down to the fifth entry where it's like yo app won't work i can't check in can't see my movie can't pick the movie i just paid for a year still can't pick a movie Yo, it got crazy And then Cinemia ended up going out of business uh, So the people who paid for the year Were out of like close to 150 bucks Not cool at all So uh, that's what ended up happening with Cinemia And I was like, I am so glad I only paid for the month I'm not going out like that Later for them Regal needs to come out with their own movie club subscription they would rake up because regal is everything that we have up here in upper westchester we don't have access to mad amc movie theaters we got to travel for that but there's a regal lobby with seven minutes away from me and i'm down with that you feel me and yo even if they did two movies a week or if they did three movies a week i would be down with that that would be a go so that being said does anybody know of any other movie subscriptions that, you know, is worth the money? And could you suggest it to the subscribers? You know what I mean? Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section below.